amazing was that? And you, what did you look back on it? And first off, that was just a great, great second half effort by the whole team. It was, I was on the sideline, and um, every time we got the ball back, I was like, man, what's going on? And I kept looking in the stands, and you got the fans doing the little angels in the outfield thing. So I was thinking, I was like, maybe there's some angels around here or something like that. But I was standing on the side, I was like, man, this is this wild. And then after the game, too, after I got home, I thought about it, I was like, man, we just, we just put up all those points in just one quarter. Imagine, you know, we would have started off like that. It probably would have been ridiculous. So it was just an exciting thing to be part of. Is that the challenge now to, you know, try to get that and expand it to four quarters rather than just have you know, a half? Oh, yeah, you know, we know we got that ability to do that. So now we just need to put it in the beginning. What happens if you guys start off this weekend the same way you started off last weekend? We keep fighting and um, we keep fighting. Don't don't give up. It's just, that's just what we did this weekend. You know, we, we was down, we just kept fighting. And to tell you the truth, it wasn't much talking. It was, it was more like, I heard a couple guys say, we're not going to lose the game. And Big Ricky Jean was kind of mad in there. He was running around talking to everybody getting here. But I didn't hear him say nothing. But um, he was he was he was crunked up, like the whole team was crunked up. Like the whole the whole message through the whole locker room during halftime was like, we're not finna lose this game. That's basically what they was all saying to sum it up to. Obviously, you don't want to get in that position, but can it be a, 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 a benefit that you know, if you guys get behind Saturday or in a, a game to come that you might say, you know, oh, we came back from you know, 28 down. This game, anything's possible. Well. Um, Ole Miss is a is a real good team, so you really don't want to try and get down behind. No, not not taking them for Troy because Troy was a was a big challenge to us. But Ole Miss really had more athletes than them, and um, you you really don't want to try and get down like that. So I really ain't. I hope we're not planning to you know to be down, but I just hope we don't come out like that. Come out with that fire. You know, going through the first half. Coming out second half, they score a touchdown. What were your thoughts, you know, at that point in time? And I know, you know, everybody's talking about you're not fixed to lose the game or like that. But what did you think? Thirty-one to three. You look up at the scoreboard. You're about to go back out there. Um, in the first quarter, first and second quarter, I was, you know, we standing on the sideline. A bunch of us was huddled up under the heat, and and they scored again. And then I I, I was sitting there and I asked them. I was like. And somebody pinched me, man, because I, I swear I'm dreaming or something because I can't believe we, we out here losing 31-3 like this. And um, I, I just couldn't believe it. At first, you know, I thought maybe we just got to get crunked up first and then we're going to – but after they got two more touchdowns, I all my smiles went to, like, what's going on? Like, I was lost too. Like, I couldn't believe it. That was that was my thought. What, what game are they Saturday? Yeah. My last day at Tiger Stadium. <laughs> Don't miss it. What are you gonna miss the most? The fans, really. <coughs> it's nothing like playing with them. They they get you pumped up too. Except for the Saturday, all of them left. That but. was gonna be my next question. <laughs> they, they get you pumped up, but I mean, what happened? You know, what what do you guys think about when the fans are booing? Um, I just. <laughs> I just be laughing about it when I look back and I see all our fans just leaving. You know, they ain't even stick and give us a try and see what was going to go out. They just automatically just left. So I just think the ones that did stay there and, and, and did, you know, was was there to be a part of us coming back. So um, you, you, you do realize 20 years from now, <coughs> there's only like 15,000 people in there. There's going to be a million people say that was there. Oh. <laughs> they going to say they left at, at, at the first quarter. <laughs> But there wasn't that many people there. Yeah, but they, they all gonna say they stayed there till the bitter end. <laughs> <laughs> he right. People do do that. He right. What is your best memory, I guess, of Tiger Stadium? My best memory. Yeah. That'd be it. I could um, probably guess it, but if you're thinking, you guess it. What? Guess it. No, you don't know. I don't want to guess your favorite memory. You say you could guess it. I, well, I'm, I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with Auburn game. That's what I was gonna say. Yeah, I'm. That'll be my. My best memory I'm gonna remember when I'm gone, when I'm old with a crutch, 
talking to my kids. I don't, <laughs> I don't remember that one. <laughs> like, no, <"Nuh-uh>, Grandpa. <laughs> Are you having as much fun now as you were at the beginning of the season? Because I feel like you're not as um, fun as you used to be. Well, that's because it's coming to an end so fast. You know, at the beginning, you know, it was, you know, you look at it as like it's a long season, but now it's, it's like it's only three games left. And like, it's, it's really about to be over for you. You know, you're a senior, you can't come back next year. You can't come back and have a whole nother college season. So it, it kind of, you, you start kind of getting down a little bit because you, you, you're about to leave. How do you think you're doing? Like, is this where you thought you'd be at this point in the season? <laughs> um, what do you mean? Like, Like, are you playing like you thought you'd be playing, and are you having the type of season you envisioned having? Are you disappointed in your numbers? Or your um, <laughs> from, as, as an individual, I'm disappointed in it. From, from my standpoint, I'm disappointed. And probably the coach probably, you know, Happy with it, or, or they not happy with it? They that's that's them. But me, I'm I'm disappointed in it because I know I should have put up bigger numbers than that. But I feel like I I did come out and I contributed good this year because last year I had didn't nobody really know about me. You know, I was getting man coverage and things like that. As far as this year, every team come out, I'm getting double teamed. I'm, they they got a safety over the top. Even this game here, I I noticed I was running a go route. And out my out my side vision, I see somebody coming out. So I'm thinking, I'm like, who is that? They done sent the the the, um, the defensive lineman out to take me out from the curl. They had the um, the, the cornerback stay on top of me, and then they still had the safety roll to the top. So I feel like I, I am, you know, doing a big thing to help the team because it's, it's causing mismatches. So somebody else could have a good game. Did you see more uh, coverages rolling your way? Yeah, yeah. Is um. I know um, Bama did it. Um, I'm pretty sure Ole Miss might do it because they did it last year. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that I'm, I'm gonna see some more. So it, you know, I, I'm really noticing if that's what I got to do to help us win, then go ahead. How much faith do you guys have in Garrett? Oh, um, we got a lot of faith in him. He's still back there. We still, you know, happy he 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 there. He he. Man, he's grown to me, to tell you the truth. Because to, to take the stuff that he been getting, he, he go in the game, he get booed. Then, then he throw it back, he get booed. But then he come back in in the second half, and he spark a big, you know, a big comeback. And, and to me, he real strong because any other quarterback probably would have been down and, and not, you know, kept going on with it. So um, I'm, I'm happy with him, and, and the team is too, as long as he, he – he getting us W's. Some of the young, some of the younger receivers have been kind of stepping up there. Tolliver has been doing well. Jarvis. What kind of things do you tell these young guys about them? We just tell them. We just tell them to be ready. You never know when they call your number. They, you might need to go in when when one of us older guy get tired or something like that. Just just be ready, and if the ball comes to you, just make a play. So that's all. The other night, the first half, you know, you, you guys just just off a little bit, and then you had a touchdown right outside your grass. It seemed like you guys just sort of <coughs> off by a hair on a whole bunch of things. Is there, is there a point in time in the game when you, you realize things are starting to click and you guys can, can get back into the game? Yeah, at the halftime, um, it probably wasn't even at the halftime. It was still in. It was about the end of the third quarter. We started moving the ball, you know, and, and I noticed I was like, well, maybe Jerry really catching on to it. And and we catching on and, and we rolling. And, and once once he got in that groove, and and everybody else got in that groove, it was like we was rolling. I, I think we we scored one drive in what 15 seconds, I think, probably that that was quick. So um, once we get in that groove with him, we was rolling. So what kind of things did Jordan do when he, when he, when he came into the game? What kind of what kind of differences was, was there? In the, was, there, was there a difference in the huddle? No, not re- we was running no huddle. He he didn't really huddle with us. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it no, it was, it was no difference. Only, only, only um, speed wise, he he was scrambling pretty you know, good. On, on the receiver side, well, you're running, you're running more than anybody else. You're running way downfield a lot of times, you know, 20, 30 yards. Is, is it tough on you? It's not tough. That's why we practice. Uh, everybody asks me that. They um, 
people say you gotta you gotta um run about 30 miles a week but uh <laughs> but um it, it's it's you know it's just something i gotta get in shape for it um being a speed receiver you gotta scratch the field so so you gotta get used to it that's kind of what happened on that that last catch the one i didn't get to i was running deep and i got a little fatigued and <laughs> i should have dove for it though